Hey everybody, Zach here, coming at you from Lingui Glossa, on the foothills of Mount Etna, Sicily, Italy. So, many of you may have noticed that recently I got engaged on Facebook, and well, as things went, I am no longer engaged. Now, I'm not gonna go into too much detail, all I will say is everything happens for a reason. There's two sides to every story. And I realized that I came to the end of a major cycle in my life, a karmic cycle. And now I find myself here in this very quiet Italian countryside town uh, where I just feel incredibly blessed and grateful to be and yeah the ending of this cycle that I've just been through uh, was quite painful because it's not the first time something like this has happened to me and other parties involved But as with all things in life such as, th such as these, it comes with a lesson or two. So that's why I'm here right now in this place, using my time to do my inner work, focus on my emotions, go within, face my shadows and bring as much love and light as I possibly can to them. And uh, yeah, it's, it's an alignment where I am now what I'm doing, it's, it feels right, this is good. Of course, every ending such as this, yeah, as I say, has been, comes with a certain aspect of sadness. But again, that's part of the process. And uh, yeah, so I'm single again, but I realize that it's a really good time for me to be single because it allows me not, not to have any distractions. I'm just able to completely focus on not only myself, but also the work that I really feel I need to be doing right now, which is building upon my emotional healing coaching business. My goal is to help people. I want to be of service. And just being in my own space, in my own being, being able to reflect and spend time on my own in isolation is creating all of the charge and all of the momentum and all of the focus that I need towards achieving these goals of getting this business up and running. So it's all in progress. But yeah, in terms of this relationship that just recently came to an end, I could talk about it, but I don't really want to. All I will say is that everything happens for a reason. And I feel like these cycles that we go through in relationship, of course they all vary by individual, by couple, as per connection and everyone's gonna be experiencing something slightly different for their own soul growth, for the growth of the oversoul in general. And this is really it. It's like I could, an, an outsider could judge what I've just been through with getting engaged and then the engagement falling through and being like, oh, that person sucks at relationships. They've had no end of issues and relationships that shows where they're at with their healing and it's true like that is that is true but at the same time it's looking at it from a different point of view you could see that perhaps this is exactly where i need to be right now perhaps the level of healing that i'm at at the moment and my partner is at, at this time Perhaps we're supposed to be here right now at this point and experiencing this particular type of relationship dynamic that we just have for a higher reason. I 
And that is what I believe to be the case. I believe that we go through these cycles, not always with the same people, sometimes with the same people, but it's an important part of our life. It's an important part of our soul's journey. It's, uh, it's almost pre-orchestrated and predetermined from a from the causal level, from the level of the higher self. Especially when a human such as myself who has had many opportunities to do their healing in the years prior to this moment now that could have elevated me higher to break out of that aspect of predeterminism. Because that's the thing, when, when we're not fully healed from our traumas, we kind of tend to keep repeating the same patterns and cycles in relationships and themes in our life. And not just from this lifetime, but from in previous lifetimes as well, the same thing just keeps ticking over and over until we get to the point where we actually heal and bring love and make peace with those particular emotions or traumas that when doing so, when that love comes in and it washes and cleanses that heavy emotion, straight away there's this shift and that cycle, that predetermined aspect can, can be bro broken free from. <sighs> but then again, as the lower self, who am I to judge? Who am I to judge and say, oh, maybe five years ago I could have broken free of these cycles and I wouldn't be in this particular situation right now in terms of relationship. There is that. But then also, perhaps I am supposed to be here right now at this point in my personal growth and evolution. Some things we're just not supposed to know. It's part of the game, it's part of the 3D game that we're all playing in. If we knew the answers to all of this game that we're playing, it would take the fun out of it. It would take that anticipation out of it, that excitement. And the game itself, the Earth game in a human body, it's one of the most intense games you can play in this galaxy. It pretty much is the most intense and challenging game you can play in this galaxy. And yet here we are. <laughs> it's not always easy. <laughs> it's, it's not always easy. Sometimes it is easy. But yeah, this is where I'm at right now. Personally, I feel that this was more a cycle that I needed to go through in my own journey that was going to happen no matter how much healing I'd already done. Like there's a higher, a higher reason as to why events unfolded in my personal life the way that they have in the past few weeks. And all I can do is take the lessons that are available to be learned and the healing that has been triggered within me, the emotions that have been triggered to come out and come to the forefront of my consciousness and awareness, ready then to be soothed, loved, and made peace with, because that's what they need. And this is the whole point of the game, right? If we want to evolve our consciousness, if we want to expand our consciousness, if we want to if we want to be living upon that new version of Earth in this century, in this lifetime, then what do we need to be doing? We need to be enlightening ourselves. And how do we do that? We lighten ourselves. And how do we do that? We get rid of all these dense emotions the more negative emotions such as sadness, fear, or anger, because they are heavy. 
the lighter emotions, joy, happiness, peace, they're a much higher frequency. They carry much less weight. They're not a problem. It's the more negatively negative, quote unquote, negatively polarized emotions that, that are holding us back from being able to evolve our consciousness. So here we find ourselves at this pinnacle point in our collective ev evolution as a human species, as the Earth's humanity. And so, yeah, although there's many benefits to shadow work and clearing your emotions and making peace with them and making peace of your traumas, so many benefits to the lead to so many enhancements in your life, whether it's your, your relationships, your career, your personal well-being. To me, it's really the ultimate in personal development. But really as well, we came here on this planet at this point to experience the shift in consciousness, not just to be leading these much happier and healthier lives. But that of course is a natural byproduct of doing this work. And that's a great thing. But yes, we're here for the shift. <laughs> well, most of us are anyway. A lot of us are anyway. <laughs> so, yes, I was engaged, but I am no more. And I, accept that, that it's just the way my life is, and I'm okay with that. And yeah, my ego is upset about that. My ego is like, damn, like, that's the second time I've been engaged to this person, and both times lasted less than three weeks. <laughs> it's like... But then we look at it and it's like, well, her and I, we've had two thirds of my earthly lifetimes, her and I have had some form of interaction. And I've been told that by two separate channelers independently. So yeah, make of that what you will, but that's a serious soul connection. That's, a, that's, that's history. We got history together. We're not here for fun and games. Well, we are here. Of course we're here for fun and games, but we're here for soul growth as well. We're here for some serious, serious work. And as with all relationships, it's not all roses and flower petals. It's, it's a mixture, especially with these very intense relationships where we have these very strong dynamics together, very potent, very potent connections that are literally crafted between our higher selves to create the most bang, the most, <laughs> the most expansion on a soul level, the highest highs, the lowest lows. And we wouldn't want it any other way. But there we go. I can clearly say to myself that I didn't sign up for a cakewalk in this lifetime. As much as I want that, as much as I just want an easy, free, easy relationships, no stress, <laughs> you know, like, and I've had that in other relationships and it's been, there's just been peace and it's been easy, but God, universe, source, my own inner being, send me what you know I need the most. Not what Zach, not what this ego thinks he needs or wants. Just send me what you know I need. <laughs> he will anyway, but like, God. <sighs> oh, why do we do this? Why do we do this? The ego will question. 
<laughs> the ego will question this to death. We know why we do this. And really it's a beautiful thing. We're making giant waves in our progress. We're making massive ripples across the entire universe with how much our, the baseline frequency of our collective consciousness has elevated in the past decade alone. It's been incredible and there's so many beings and races across the whole of the universe that are feeling it, feeling the effects of this very dense, heavy planet beginning to elevate itself to heights never seen before, truly. And so here we are. So to the end of another karmic cycle as one individual to the end of many other karmic cycles for the rest of the collective. Cheers. So thank you for watching and lots and lots of love to you all. May peace be found with all in all of your hearts and may all of the healing come that your inner being yearns for. <laughs>